This is a main team that's been wounded. They are beat up. Where are they going to go? Are they healthy enough? That's a great question. We'll find out how their new players really perform. They're going to start three new players on the defensive side of the football, four new offensive players as well, including two offensive linemen. So the timing may be off a little bit for Maine. They only had two solid days of practice this past week. It's going to be a tough assignment. Having a 6'4", 300-pound fullback that's able to get downhill and get into the end zone is a nice luxury to have close to the goal line. And, Mick, they're going to need more of that in the second half because the Maine Mammoths certainly have a lot of momentum. Not only do they have momentum, but they have an outstanding kicker in Henry Nell who accounted for two field goals, three deuces, and an extra point. So if you add it all up, that's 13 points out of your kicker. Now, I know you're not a big fan of the uh, kicker. Yeah, you're doing the, the whole kicker as a weapon thing, Mick. I don't know if I can really buy that one. That's a tough one to swallow. He's he, a Swiss Army knife. He was the difference in the first half, for yeah, sure. He absolutely was. And, uh, you know, he's making South Africa proud with all his, his, his scoring prowess here in the first half. Yeah, you're going to have four shots to go one yard. I'm just saying stuff happens. So Deshaun Johnson, the fullback. Brackett going to take it himself. Up and over for the touchdown for Brackett. on six more. On second and seven at the 23, Bain steps up in the pocket, now throws underneath, it's tipped, intercepted by Norris. Norris has the interception at the 25-yard line. It ricocheted off of Devin Wilson, and Cheatham Norris makes the catch for the third interception of the night for the Pirates. And for the 21, this is a big play here for Maine. Wilson goes in motion, double pump fake. Now he airs it out for Poe, who makes the catch for the touchdown. Wow, that ball was going over the wall, and somehow Poe elongated himself, reached over the wall, made the catch, and brought it back for six. Brown goes in motion, single coverage on him. He's on the left. Brackett looks down the middle. Now goes to the near side, caught. Pearson, touchdown. Pearson was open as the third receiver. It was almost like you saw the progression. Look outside, look down the middle, get my check down on the near side for six. Fourth and goal. Here comes Devin Wilson in motion, and they throw to the goal line Poe. Touchdown catch with 2.1 on the clock. A nice night tonight by Poe with another touchdown grab. Right, here we go. We got a deuce coming. This kick has the distance. It's on the way. And this one is good. And we got a tie game with 3.7 seconds remaining. Henry Nell has taken this game over by storm. Jenkins near side. Poe far side. Wilson's going to be in motion. Here we go. Bain. Three-step drop, going for Wilson, caught. I think that's a touchdown. He and the defender both go over the wall. It is six. Wilson hung on. <laughs> We've officially seen it all. What an amazing effort by Devin Wilson going over the wall here, taking the shot, making the play. I mean, just a great job of concentrating knowing you're going into the wall and then maintaining possession as you get flipped over the wall it's a big time play yes it is here comes the PAT John Hardy Tulia was trailing trying to cause the incompletion Nell with the extra point on the way this one is good makes the score 43-36 Maine True. I believe Massachusetts needs one possession they do they do need one possession but if they make the if they make the extra point that and they have to make the two for if Massachusetts misses the two is the game over because it has to be because they're up they're tipped up two points yes that is correct that would be correct. that's that correct I'm, here's the kick well, we and this to, will not be Don't a worry about the deuce. It's coming out to the 20-yard line as it goes well wide left. Well, everything else has happened. Why couldn't that happen? Good. You know, the Massachusetts offense hasn't really been on the field a lot in the last, you know, the last couple, you know, minutes. LeVon Pearson's been the go-to guy uh, for Brackett today. You know, you talk a lot about the big playability of Gilliard and, and Brown, but you know, 15, LeVon Pierce. Pearson's been been the big play guy today. He's the man Look of the yep. Here we go. Bracket, three-step drop. He is looking for Pearson underneath. Caught down to the one-yard line. He is at the one. 
one play, one yard away. First and goal at the one yard line, bracket up and over, broke the plane, he is in for the touchdown. And now it's a one point differential. Bracket will be under center. Johnson, the fullback, is right behind it. Brown goes in motion to the far side with single coverage. They pick up Brackett. He broke the plane. He's in the end zone for two, and this game is over. The Pirates win it by the score of 44 to 43 in overtime. And now that Massachusetts is five and one, their defense stepped up large, Mitch. They trailed by 12 in the second half at one point. Four turnovers, got it back in this game. You mentioned they go to five and one, and now you gotta be happy the fact that they got their first overtime win in team history.